Using a housing choice voucher, Monica has just rented an apartment in a building owned by Steve. She likes the apartment, and the landlord seems nice. But for the first two months, Monica has paid her rent late without the required late fees. Monica opens the door to let Steve in. Hey! Hey, Come Monica. Have a seat. Thanks for making the time to see me. Oh, of course. Place looks good? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with it. Good. Yeah. Good. So, um, what did you want to see me about? The rent. I know, I'm so sorry. I've been late the past two months and I meant to call, but I See, just got... I knew. I knew I was gonna have no, a problem no. with you. No, <laughs> no, I promise it's not going to be a problem. I'm caught up on last month's rent and I've just been really well, sick. I couldn't work. You, you could at least pay me the late fees. <laughs> but I don't have money for late fees. I'm not talking about money, honey. Steve tries to kiss Monica. Stop! Hey, listen, you got two options. We could have sex, or you could find a new place to live. Monica calls her case manager. Yeah, he threatened to evict me for not paying my late fees if I didn't have sex with him. Did he serve a written eviction notice? No. Did he actually touch you? No, but he tried and I didn't let him. Then there's nothing I can do about it. Not at this time. It's unbelievable. A few days later, Steve returns. <clears throat> Steve hands Monica an envelope. What is this? It's an eviction notice. But I haven't filed it yet, and I won't. If you could just find your way to give me a little oral sex. Monica is repulsed. Monica calls her case manager again. Yeah, and now he's after me for oral sex. I can't believe this is happening to me. I agree, Monica. This is terrible, but you are behind on your rent. And have you paid any late fees? No, but I don't have money for late fees. And now he's trying to get me to pay late fees with oral sex? I'm sorry, but there's still nothing I can do. Bye. Monica meets with the PHA director, who is concerned about Monica and PHA liability. This has gone on way too far. I'm going to investigate, talk to the other tenants, talk to the case manager. Will I lose my voucher? No. Listen, bringing this to my attention is only going to help the housing authority do its job. And I'm so glad that you didn't give up when the case manager said there's nothing else that he could do. Thanks. There's definitely something that we can do, including starting an immediate investigation. We can also see what we can do about finding you a new place to live, if you're interested. Yes, please. Thank you. After the investigation, which corroborated Monica's complaints, the PHA terminates the landlord's housing assistant payment contract, and it bars him from future participation in the Housing Choice Voucher Program. The PHA also gives the case manager a written reprimand which goes in his file, and it requires him to attend fair housing training. And Monica? The PHA helps her move to a different apartment where she continues to use her voucher. It also provides her with financial counseling to help her avoid late rent payments in the future. <laughs>